once you go to the Philippines and once you live near your Filipinas family, they would expect that you would share and um, you establish those boundaries early yeah. before you're married. Hi, thank you so much for being here. My name is Raleen and welcome to my channel. I post videos about life here in America. By the way, I'm a Filipina from Cebu, Philippines, and I have been living here in Washington State for four years. And um, today I'm gonna be answering a question from Mr. Mike Wright. He asked, why are foreigners expected to give anything? All right, um, personally, I think it stems from what the Filipinos have observed from the Filipinas that have been married to foreigners. Before, it used to be that mostly, most of the Filipinas that are married to foreigners, they usually have this large age gap, meaning their husbands are already in their retirement years and they are retiring in the Philippines and live near the Filipinas family. They build a house for the Filipinas family. The foreigner also takes care of the the parents, showering them with gifts, bringing them to vacation because that has been the like the practice of those foreigners before. It has become like a like an expectation of the everybody like me growing up and I've seen these families or Filipinas marrying foreigners and I've seen the drastic change in their lifestyle. In my mind as a kid, I was thinking, oh, okay, so when you marry a foreigner, they're so generous that they not only uh, make the life of their wife way more comfortable, they're also taking care of the family. So, so I think that stems from there because that was what the Filipinos have observed from other Filipinas and so they're expecting that when their um, daughter married a foreigner the, some families are expecting that the husband would also do the same <laughs> to, to them I just want to also highlight instead of being ashamed that you're somewhat receiving a welfare from somebody other people or other Filipinos would even brag about it to yeah, to neighbors. Pride. Yeah, it's like a point I'm a of parasite. pride. I'm proud of it. Like, um, just an example. We have neighbors just brag that, oh, you know what? The husband of my daughter gives us twenty thousand pesos a month for food, and yeah, they're so very proud about it. And <laughs> I'm proud. I'm a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> Award my daughter out. But yeah, so I think that stems from there. And um, so um, it, it's sort of like because of those Americans, they become like the precedents. And people would expect that um, all Americans or all foreigners are like that because they have the money, you know. I mean, there's nothing wrong about it if you, if you have extra money and it's, you know, it's coming from your heart. <laughs> you were not forced to um, to do that. But yes, of course, it's your money. If you don't wanna like give or it's or for example, you can only take care of the Filipina. Then just set the expectations straight. <laughs> um, tell your Filipina that um, what's your real financial situation, and then the Filipina would um, explain it to to her family because yeah it's your money you should not be forced coerced or whatever <laughs> to be part parted ways with your hard-earned money so yeah for those of you who are not yet married and not yet um, relocated in the Philippines so this is something that you have to consider and you need to bring up um, to your Filipina because once you go to the Philippines and once you live near your Filipinas family, they would expect that um, yeah you would share. <laughs> yeah, they would expect that you would share and um, you establish those boundaries early. Yeah. Before you're married. Exactly. And or early on into even just dating. Yeah. Also, and aside from that, not just from the Filipino family. The community itself, um, we call, we have this called solicitation. Like if there's like a big event in the community, for example, fiesta or a church that's being built, sometimes like some organizations will 
um, look for sponsors and you being a foreigner it's, they would expect that you have the money you will be one of the people that they're gonna solicit money from <laughs> that's also one thing that I want you to be aware of it could be through your Filipina that your Filipina will be um, they'll reach uh, reach out to your Filipina and ask for some donations for some projects and stuff like that. So don't be surprised if um, you'll you'll get those kind of um, solicitations or requests. And um, yeah, because uh, when when as a foreigner, when a Filipino see you in the Philippines because of your high. Uh, higher purchasing power because you have dollars, right? They would they would automatically um, assume that you have a bigger purchasing power, so you have extra money to spare. So, <laughs> yeah, suddenly there are lots of cases that before your Filipina uh, got married to you, she was nobody. But then suddenly, when she got married to you, oh boy, she suddenly become somebody. In the community people want to be close to her people want to be friends with her <laughs> until she runs out of money and then of course where is the Filipina gonna lean on to and then there are some Filipinas um, they are easily influenced with these people I mean I can see I can see through these people that they're just plastic they're just pretending to be your friends because they they know that they can get something from you but there's some Filipinas because they didn't get that kind of um, acknowledgement before and when they suddenly get that they thought that they're real and all that so every whatever wish they or like whatever they want the filipina would provide and of course where would the filipina get that money um most of the time it's from the husband <laughs> the, the of all of yeah the filipina will do some sweet gestures and lambing like huh the mayor of the whatever or our barangay captain is asking for donation and stuff yes that's that's pretty much gonna um happen if you're in the philippines but um but if you don't want to participate if you don't want to give then don't give then just tell your filipina um your reasons and and um if you marry a good wife she will not be angry with you if you don't want to give or if you don't want to support th those causes um, that they mentioned in their solicitation letters. <laughs> but yeah, the community, the family would expect that you would give anything. So this is just a little bit about the culture. Let me know if you want to learn more about it because I'm actually thinking of making a longer video discussing about like what to expect in the Filipino culture, things like that. It, you know, just to give you a pragmatic uh, view about life in the Philippines. So yeah, let me know in the comment section and I'll release that video hmm, maybe next week. So thank you so much again for being here. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And um, I hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a great day all of you and stay safe. Bye.